So today we're checking out a new device from a company called New. Get it? New device. This is going to be your value-oriented smartphone. This B20 model is coming in around $220 USD. It's going to be relatively affordable compared to some of the other stuff that's available on the North American market. 6.5 inch FHD 2400 by 1080 display, 2.2 gigahertz octa-core CPU. That is a Dimensity 700 more specifically. Rear camera 48 plus 16 plus 2. Front camera 8 megapixels for selfie. 8 gig of RAM 128 ROM and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So this is the first one and it looks like a kind of bluish, ooh, blue black kind of color to it. Quite a curved backing as well. Fingerprint scanner is gonna be in your thumb location. Volume is above there. SIM on the other side, you do maintain an analog audio jack for headphones, USB type C for fast charging and a punch hole, hole punch style front facing camera. This is gonna be our power brick, 18 watts. And then, oh, look at that, bonus stuff. Screen protector, interesting. It's like a tempered glass style screen protector. Nice little bonus, not gonna complain. Here's a quote from the CEO of New. He says, our all new flagship represents a key milestone for New in the form of a breakthrough 5G phone for under 220. 5G phone under 220. He says, there's really nothing like it out there and it puts blazing speed connectivity in everyone's hands. Okay, we get it. This is primarily targeted at the value for money part of the market, 220 bucks. Now I didn't know this, but apparently new as a company was founded back in 2010. If you bounce around the website, you'll see that you can get devices from them starting at like 80 bucks. So unboxing experience is identical over here. Whoa, whoa. That's a bit more of a bold statement. I don't know if I can call it purple or lavender possibly with some reflectiveness to it. Maybe I will play with the uh, darker bluish black. First thing I like, I just pull down the drop down and it's pretty much stock vanilla Google more or less. So it's already locked in 90 Hertz. You can toggle it back to 60 for better battery life, which I won't do. We've played around with refresh rates above that, but even this little upgrade is noticeable. When you go from 60 to 90, I'm zoning right now, dude. I'm floating. I'm, 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 I'm not here anymore. Brisk, cold air. Okay. The leaves. Every color you could imagine. It, it's a mono speaker, right? It's a, yeah, it's a mono speaker. It's just firing out of the bottom. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, look, it's a mono speaker. 220, 220. Hey, we're going to load up the camera now. 1X. 2X, 48 MPs, looking like a plant to me. Getting a job done for 220. Actually, look at the color temp. Similar, similarities. Man, that plant, this plant is so persistent and reliable. It's never let me down. It's really a super plant. Like we never water it, never gets any sunlight, always robust, ultra wide. Okay, the ultra wide is not on the same caliber as the main cam. It's gonna give you a little bit of extra versatility, I suppose, but you're gonna wanna shoot on that main cam. You know when they say tack sharp? Never pin, always tack. But when's the last time you interacted with a tack? And then you have tacky, tacky. Well, it can be tacky, can be bad, or tacky can be good. If you want something to stay, to stick, you want it to be tacky. This language, man, trying to imagine, trying to learn that thing. Selfie test, 1X. Hmm, actually, not too much processing happening. Beard hairs are there. Video, video, video. 60 frames per second. We can go to 2K. So here we have a video test. The audio that you're hearing is uh, recorded through the microphone, obviously, on the device. Let me go ahead and pick up the other device. Give you an idea of what that looks like. The purple or lavender. Focus up close. And then maybe I'll register my thumbprint as well. I agree to your terms. It's a natural spot where your thumb goes. And I never minded the thumb unlock. You hold the phone over here anyway. You don't even really think about it. And I like versatility. So I like to do the combination, the face, 
and the fingerprint. And then since sometimes I'll hold the phone in my left hand, I'll also normally register my middle finger on the left hand, which reaches the same spot. Yeah, that's pretty quick. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's perfectly usable. So would you look at that? That's a $220 smartphone in 2022. I wonder if that's a, a coincidence or not. 220 bucks in 2022, that's what you can get. That's the spec sheet. Immensity 700, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 18 watt charger in the box, still have a dedicated headphone jack, eight gigs RAM, 128 ROM. Ah, also there's a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. Imagine that, you haven't seen that in a minute or two. It's running Android 12, has access to all of the new fast 5G networks in the United States. And of course, also a 6.5 inch FHD plus display. So listen, if you're in the market for a budget oriented smartphone, but you still want a feature set that looks like this, then you can now look at the new B20. All the details and relevant links will be in the description of this video. And also let me know which color would you go for? Would it be this uh, slightly more ambitious and vibrant lavender purple or uh, the slightly more sophisticated bluish black. Oh, here's something I almost missed. There is a limited time early bird period. Buyers will get a premium add-on offer of the new Buds, which are active noise canceling wireless earbuds for only $19.90 instead of 50 bucks or $49.90 while supplies last. That's the promo that's going on right now. Anyway, those details will be in the description. There you have it. It is the new, new B20. It's that new, new.